up in the air, simplest of chances, and that is the end of the England innings. And the man to take the wickets is Glenn McGrath, playing on his home territory here at the SCG. It was Warren who starred at the MCG, which is his home turf. It's Glenn McGrath here at the SCG who takes the final wicket. It's the last time that he will enjoy the satisfaction of taking a wicket in test matches. He's still got one day matches to play. It's a very, very fitting way for the England innings to end. And uh, apart from the two openers who have just uh, dashed off the field to get ready to prepare for the job of knocking off the runs, the rest of the Australian team out in the middle to take the plaudits of this crowd. McGrath and Warren will take all these plaudits now for themselves. Really, the team deserve a massive round of applause for the way they played throughout the series. But as these two now leave the field for the last time, applauded by especially their wives. They've given great support. The wives have given huge support to these two great men of world cricket. The Prime Minister here again to pay his respects as well. Wonderful scenes. Arm in arm, Shane Warne and Glenn McGrath. Up those steps at one of the world's most famous cricket grounds. And followed by an Australian team that knows it is just 46 runs Did away. Is this the top of the mountain? You're retiring at the top. <laughs> yeah, I can't sort of ask for much more. Sort of wick on the last ball and then to get the runs done down. Perfect way. Mate, that is such a crushing victory and you've had a couple of them this series. How impressed are you with this team? Oh, it's been an amazing series for us. Uh, at every stage, the guys have played well. It's been a huge team effort and you know, the bowling's given them nothing in the way we've batted as well. So I don't think we've uh, ever played as, as well at team-wise as uh, what we've had this series. What about your body? You know, you're know, you getting wickets, you're bowling quick again, yet what are you doing retiring? Oh, I never felt better, Hills, but um, I know, time's, time's right, still got a few months of one day, so we'll see how we go. Yeah, kids, is it good to have Daddy at home or? <laughs> what about the special people here for you, Pidgey? Who's here with you? Yeah, no, it's good to have uh, Jane and James and Holly here, and also my mum and dad are down from the bush and my sister Donna, so uh, everyone's here, so it's great. Wicket with your last ball too, how, how tinny are you? Oh, it would have been nice to knock the stumps out, but I'll take a slow ball, caught it uh, mid-on, but uh, no, it's can't complain. Great stuff, Pidge. See you, mate. With his kids yet? Yeah, how you going, kids? All right, uh, Warney, You got words? You got words that can explain how you're feeling? Uh, pretty excited, actually. Uh, to win five 0 was a fantastic achievement by by these group of guys. They, you know, this team's played some sensational cricket through the whole summer. England have played some good cricket at times too, but when the big moments are there, their their Australian cricket team stood up and uh, someone's put their hand up. So. Oh, look, it's been fantastic to play with this group of guys, and uh, I'm sure that everyone's ent uh, been entertained by the way the guys have played. And, um, you know, to, to finish off the way we have today, 5 nil, is uh, a sensational way to do it. It's so crushing, wasn't it? Not even... I think McGrath was one that planned for 5 nil. What were you thinking before the series? Is this better than your wildest plans? I suppose he's got to... If he keeps saying that, he's got to come <laughs> get it right once, I suppose. But, uh, uh, look, it's a, just a pleasure to play with someone like Glenn McGrath. He's been uh, an unbelievable player, and uh, to play with him... It's been a real pleasure and to play with all the guys. It's been a real pleasure and honour and the support we've had all over Australia and to finish it here in Sydney has been amazing. What about your 70? You want to talk us through ball by ball? OK, we haven't got that long. There's not much <laughs> happening. Well, well, the first one I just thought I'd sweep a bit, but... Uh, <laughs> no, nah, look, it's, um, well, that was a bit of fun, I suppose, to get that. Uh, those runs was very crucial in the game. To get a 100-run lead was very, very important. So, um, But as the boys bowled, I mean, the quickies bowled fantastic all summer and... Um, you know, we just we backed it up in the field. You know, I thought we were really good. You performed really well in 2005 in a losing series. You might have retired if you had won that series. 2006-7 has been a lot better and a great team effort. Oh, yeah, as I said before, to play on this side has um, been fantastic. I think at times everyone's played their role in the side exceptionally well. Uh, you know, summed up in Melbourne, five for 80. Uh, Andrew Simons and Matty Hayden coming to make 150. So at times everyone's put their hand up and done that's why it really has been a team effort. Um, you know, this team has played some exceptional cricket. England, to their credit, have played some wonderful cricket as well. And um, But with the big moments that come, the Australian team stood up. You're the leader on all fronts, Warney. Congratulations. Magnificent career. Ladies and gentlemen, Shane Warne. Thanks, Hills.